Hi, guys. Welcome to the Canadian Cannabis Connection Show. There's John Burfello. It's push-up time, so we're both going to be doing put some push-ups. I can only do five, but I know Mr. Toad is doing six a day, and that's from a three-legged man. Okay, let me get over here. Okay. Make sure you touch the nose to the ground. It makes it important. And you stay consistent. And it gets done. All right, you just gotta like, stay focused. Make sure you get it done. I mean, I really start popping off about 15, 16, I start slowing down. Just because. Uh, you start feeling it. Exactly. Yeah. And then you lose count. And then you do an extra couple, one or two. Ah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Hey, hey guys, yes. Go for the push-up challenge. And? Well. I know Ken's trying over here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The whole thing is, is the stands don't really work that well. Because <laughs> they're these really crappy stands. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, hey. You get what you can get, right? So, it came with another another stand for stuff. Oh, Jesus. Hey. Right. <laughs> okay, we get it back up right. Off of this, because this is for my okay. Yep. That makes a lot more sense. Okay. Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties so live, sorry. you know? Well, <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're, We're stoners. We're a little bit crooked. It's completely on an angle because you can just tell you by looking. Oh at my god! <laughs> yeah, but I'm a little bit crooked, John. I mean, come on! I'm a crazy cheers. Canadian. Okay, cheers, everyone. I hope you're having a great day. You bet, guys. Well, here's the next thing. See, instead of moving the camera, I'm gonna move the stool. Just don't run out of card. Check this shit out. That's how we start our day. You ready for it? Oh yeah, let's get you up a little bit higher here. There we go. Cheers, Canadians. Hi, 710. How you doing, buddy? I just had my phone in my hand, so I lost it. Oh, um, right here. The one that says, on hand. Hey, guys. Um, <laughs> I want you to start your day with the ninja. And how we do this, you got it. So I start my day. Get this up. So we start it. We have our celery. We have everything in here. We call it juicing power. Okay. Thanks. This is your juicing power. So we're gonna juice in the morning. And you see the cannabis, we cannabis leaves? leaves? We got carrots, kale, we got some kelp, we got you know what? If you're not, like doing it. You gotta do it. Exactly, guys. This is all about health and wellness. And uh John is doing a total cleanse. I'm probably, yeah, okay. I don't know how my, my, uh, I look, but hey, I'm a crazy Canadian. You can hear John using the ninja in the background. He's on a juicing cleanse. He's trying to cleanse his liver. And uh, he's going to be doing an ice challenge, which means he fills up his tub of ice, jumps in, and reinvigorates uh, his entire body. Um, Things are, are going great in John's life. He is improving his body, his health, his Not nutrition. Really. Well, you're trying. More of these is the hell help me out. <laughs> I don't know. You do the lettuce, guys. Don't forget to add the cannabis leaves. Yes. Okay. This is where we're feeding our endocannabinoid system. It's kind of like we got this juice thing going on. I'm like, we got to feed our EC up. It's really important that you feed your endocannabinoid system. So that's what I've been doing lately. Okay. We're getting into the serious juicing of life. Well, it's the essence of life, and that juice gives us the biology that exists in it. And by juicing it, and John's using a cold press juicing method, which means there's no heat to kill any of the biology. So no, he's we'll getting lots. Yep. We're not converting the cannabinoids over. So if you guys have ever followed Kevin Jodry when he was doing uh, his thing at the um, Compassion, they were juicing a lot of the cannabis leaves 
and getting a lot of benefit from it. So if you guys are growing and you have some of those leaves, you know, check out juicing it because it is so, so healthy for you guys. It's healthy so for healthy. us. Yeah. And that's why John's doing it. Well, it's not because um, I'm going to do cleanse, which is a medical medium. Okay. Medical medium cleanse. And what do you mean by that? Yeah, let's grab the book. Actually, just the cover. Okay. Cleanse the heal. We're using weed, though. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, we're potheads, right? You got to use sleep, right? We're and not it's potheads. well, that's true. We're we're medical patients, and that's where Medi Kush that John John grows is such a wonderful plant because it's his medicine. It's the essence of the plant that's helping him daily. You can add a little bit of carrot in there too, along with kale, a little bit of uh, celery, and then some juice. And we got a lot of good things going in this little little uh, thing here for breakfast. Yeah, yeah. And along with our push up challenge. You know what, guys? That's it. Fantastic. Now, the essence of the plant is in that cold-pressed juice. So John's getting those micro and macro nutrients out of the juice that he would have to consume all of those fruits. And there was a lot of stuff there. Now he can consume the essence. I missed this one. Oh, well, what the heck? And we're going to shift back around to the kitchen. There we go. That's some green. You bet. We want to green the world, man. We want to get it up on the bottom. Where's my name? Okay, okay. I'm feeling a little left out over here now. Oh, now I gotta. Let's see here. We're normally on two different cameras, buddy. So like, uh, I'm watching. I know you are, but I love you. So we're gonna put you in there too. No, we're not. No. Okay, fine. Heck with you then. <laughs> Anyway, guys, John's uh, links are all in the description. Uh, John Burfello. All you got to do is look up John Burfello online. You know, you're going to find him. He's everywhere. No, no. No? I thought you were everywhere and then some, John. No? Where aren't you? What country in the world has not written an article on John Burfello's journey of healing himself with cannabis? <laughs> I don't know. There's probably very many guys. But John's been well, doing this for so Jason long. Well, thanks to Jason Wilcox uh, and, and yes. people like Kurt Tucson and John Conroy, Rob Lowry, and all the patients that fought for cannabis rights here in Canada. Um, I mean, I was just part of those people that was part of the fight. And because of my medical advocacy and the work that we've done in the industry, and well, probably because of the, the intensity of my injuries made me front page news. And because, hey, come on. Morpheus was here with me. He had a huge part of this one. And if you don't, I haven't seen Morpheus. He's the, the cat wandering around. around. Okay, this is like a limited edition hat. Everybody wanted black before, and now you can't get gray. All right. There goes Morpheus out the back door to go wandering. Really? Yeah. Can we do that stuff? Oh, yeah. Well, Ken's been here for a whole week. He hasn't left. He's staying. He showed up, he says, I'm gonna stay one night. <laughs> that fucking happens. It's the coffee, it's the weed, it's the company, actually. It's the love and no, this like, man, the passion. You. What's that? He said, I gotta put you to work, you have to stay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we've been doing, guys. We John's doing a new series, um, a growing on his channel, on his YouTube channel. Um, and he's switching into some living soil stuff. I'm going he's, back to living soils. Yes, yeah, because John started in the living soil because gorilla growing, you did that's what you did. That's on YouTube. We discovered we got then it goes in 2015, seven years ago. Yeah, um, on understanding soils and compounds. Um, so we did that on soil mixes, super soil mixes, uh, from stuff that we do for years. How I won my cannabis cups and stuff like that had all to do with living soils in a sense. Yeah. So when you go back to the days of growing, and like I said, we got lazy with bottled nutrients and water. So when you go back to the old amendments and exactly how growth happens, we get better growth, you get better terpenes, you get better quality. And hey, you know what? 
with that, you feel better. Yeah. You look better. You grow better. And proof's in the pudding, right? Exactly. Because if we kind of look at my growth over the last decade, where I was in the beginning, I was in good shape, and then I started getting into bottled nutrients, and the plants are getting fat, and they were tasting as well. So I was also getting into bottled nutrients. 7-Eleven pizza subs. <laughs> Those are what we call bottled nutrients. McDonald's, 7-Eleven pizza subs. It's what we call bottled nutrients. It's going to make you fat. It's going to make you feel okay, but it's not good for you. Let me rephrase it up. Bottled nutrients are not good for your plants. They look good. They make it taste good. But there's certain bottled nutrients that are going to give you the best bang for your buck. Yeah. So really pay attention to what you have and what you're putting into your plants and what you're going to get out. I mean... I'm going green. <laughs> now I'm sitting here just drinking straight our uh, reverse osmosis water. Yeah, no, I'm drinking cannabinoids for breakfast. Yeah, baby. So to really get into the medical medium, I'm taking a look at this whole thing of juicing and juicing, understanding celery juice, the green drinks, um, understanding um, yourself as in a whole. Ken's going to screw with the camera. Cause I think you're trying to level us up, you know? We just need to see. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, we're kind of twisted. Should, like, should be eating for health and not pleasure and taste. No, I eat for health. Yeah. Because you probably don't like the taste of this. I do. <laughs> I'll be like, eh. I'm like, this is fucking good. Man. That's like, John's you know, body. That's John's body going, yeah, this is what I need. Give it's it me taste, more. It's tasting out of that carrot juice to the whole idea. And then knowing that um, I'm using many Kush, many lights. Um, mm -hmm. I have to do some. Um, no, this was all many today. It's many okay. Kush. So medical kush and then medical lights is a northern light number five skunk haze cross back into the old medical kush. So I call it my medi. <laughs> it's your medicine, baby. All right. So that's what I'm squishing. That's what the cannabinoids that work best for me. Um, and that's what works good for me. So if you're a home grower and you're doing this yourself at home, you can actually consume these leaves maybe a couple times a month for those extra cannabinoids. It's not yeah, something yeah. you do every day. Some people like the wheatgrass every day. It's not into me, honestly. Once or twice a week is a good time. Get a little yeah. bit of green. It's not a daily. It's um, about balance. Well, it's balance. Yeah. It's about money. Well, that too. Things cost money, right? Yeah. My wife found uh, much better benefit from juicing raw cannabis. A thousand percent. That's what we're talking about when I was talking about juicing, raw juicing foods. And we're information. Talking, this is information is so good for this. This is what I need for this, man. Cheers. Cheers to the northern neighbors. Nice to see him. Hey, we're, up here, we're up here juicing the great white north. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got the northern light number five skunk haze in this drink here right now. So we're going to go north one as far as we can. Chill, we're going to go with the northern lights and we're going to juice those northern lights and we're going to put them in that. We're going to feel good. It's how we start our day, all right? Yeah, yeah. John starts a lot earlier. You can join him for the 5 a.m. club and go on a walk with John and he does his push ups while he's out I there, get up guys. I 20 a.m. And it's really important. So I do 60 push-ups by 6 a.m. Um, this is that uh, I can start my living soil bed soon. Damn right. I'm flipping my living soil beds today. So that was a seven-day veg, like I said. We're eight days in the veg, so I'm flipping those beds today. Great and, idea. And, and I had Ken actually help me add the biology. So we added yep. um, my weed. Uh, yeah. We added lactic yeah. acid bacteria your labs. We'd, that that uh, would be my labs. Okay. Yep. Uh, water soluble calcium and a fish amino acid. That's all I had with me. So that's what so we apparently there's supposed to be more. There is actually like of what seven implements that uh, Korean Natural Farming has. Now how often do I get these seven implements in? Um, I'd say once every two weeks. And a lot of people do a foliar feed up to flower, and then they'll because it's all about the biology. You're adding biology in the system. This isn't a food. This isn't feeding your plants. This is feeding the biology the that system. feeds your plants. Because the cell develops through biology. You That's have to have biology for breakfast, let me tell you. Damn right. <laughs> and yes, John has been making me drink that stuff. And yes, it does taste uh, sometimes like Buckley's, but it works, you know? Uh, I haven't got Canon push-up challenge here. Yeah, so. finally. And Mr. Toad, blessings, brother. Mr. Toad, heard you doing some push-ups. You're amazing, dude. I appreciate you. You know, this is the most spinal cord injury, if people don't know. I broke my neck in four places. So I have a C6 burst fracture. I'm plated between the C5 and C7, and I'm bolted between the C3 to the C6. So I'm front and back plated. And I mean, for me, it's about weed. It's what helps me every day. It's what feeds my endocannabinoid system, helps me with my pain. 
it, it makes me feel it loops the joints. It's kind of like adding oil. Yes. Yeah. Best yeah. way of saying it. I feel great because I use cannabis for pain control on a daily basis. We're yeah. talking like all the time, but I know how to regulate yeah. my cannabinoids. Stops anybody? Um, I'm just, I've, yeah, I it's just <laughs> automatically can't be here and I'm walking in and out every hour doing a massive job. What are you doing? Taking two milligram caps because you know Sundays are my Mondays. Yeah. And Sundays are just Sundays. <laughs> yeah. And I'm here helping John, and it has been an absolute blessing. Not helping. He's going. Guy. He's been going to work. Yes. We'll be talking about living soils. We'll be talking about doing cover crops. I'm a little bit talking about maybe not doing that right now. Yeah. Um, a lot of work, but I want to get into, and you know, just me being who John is, and you yeah. guys have been watching me for over a decade. I mean, I'm just all about making sure I have growth. I need to ensure. To so every other week, OHN helps. Hey, JDN, if you're down here, uh, John could use some OHN. What's OHN? Uh, Oriental Herbal Nutrient. It is made with a, a combination of. Whoa, slow down. Things. OHN, Ornamental. Oriental Oriental Herbal, herbal Nutrient. Nutrient. What's that? Yeah. For me? Ow. <laughs> I said ow to nothing hurt. If this this probably went out and it's taken away from the oh I missed it. Okay, we were stolen and we missed it. Lily, what was that? <laughs> and thank you. A blessing to my wife, Living Soil, the only way to go. Check out Build a Soil 3.0. I love his H2O only. Now water only when you get to that point and you can, it's brilliant. In Sa oh, that's right, JDN's in Saskatoon. I get I find some, some plants in the ground, water only. Yeah, yeah, nature if it rains, you know. Oh, you guys should see the amazing trees in John's backyard. And I'm not even talking to cannabis, I'm talking he's got grapes and plums and all this fruit that's apples, growing. plums, pears, apples. Yes, plums, pears. I got a mulberry tree. Yes, I, I've never had a mulberry, and they okay, tell them they're oh, all right. I eat them every morning. <laughs> but that's why I can't find any because he's eating them, right? Yeah, yeah, that's it. I'm having the largest mulberry tree in the world. Oh well, there you go. It's bigger than my house. So what are you dabbing on, brother? I don't know. You don't know. Okay, John's gonna choose, and he's got quite the selection here. Oh, there's temperature beeper right there. <laughs> there's the closest one to me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Old school guys, right? I'm the zigzag guy. Yeah. Yeah. Or of course, geezers. You want to buy these things? I will sell them really cheap. Yeah. Um. Half speaking. Price. Speaking. Oh, well, there you go. Half price, guys. There's it. BadTanderCanada.com. Okay. Well, there you Bad guys go. Canada. .ca. It's a pretty good deal. I'll hook your stuff up. There you go, guys. So go to we got your four dot com, like we got your form, you know. <laughs> you it only makes sense, right? Makes we sense. We go for in Canada. We got your four dot com. <clears throat> we got your four needs for your growing needs. Yeah. It'd be your grow tents, your screens, your bubble bags, your four main necessities, your candle clamps, your four main things for actually getting a solvable extraction. That's what I like to talk about, guys. So it's about it's about growth and it's about solvables. Yes. So, it's about the dry sit. It's about that concentration. I didn't. And we're going to talk about. Wait a second here. It's oh, about the Barfello bounce. <laughs> okay, the Barfello bounce. And if you guys are going to know what we're talking about, Google it. That's called first bounce. But we're yeah. Change it because. <coughs> and they keep associating the kids bouncing, so they keep deleting them. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, da da da. The Barfello bounce. We have just remarketed. That to the Burfello Bounce guys. So after you know, hashtag that the Burfello Bounce. Okay, let's get that out there and let's spread it around. Yeah, exactly. Well, I want them to do it too. Uh -huh. We got two of you guys here to help. Yeah, and we're at 34. Right on, guys. Thank you very much for showing up. You know what? You know what's better when all of you hit share. <sighs> yes, like, subscribe, share. Don't like. Don't like why no 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 what share. I like them share okay share uh hashtag Karen shows like me hashtag John Bravo I'm kidding <laughs> do it anyway no, no okay make sure you hashtag um I always say future kind of a future project 
How about just Future cannabis, cannabis no, project? Hashtag, hashtag cannabis, because that's what it's all about. Okay, it took me Don't five days. Don't hashtag anybody. Hashtag cannabis. Yes. Okay, there you go. Hashtag cannabis. Okay. It took John five days to figure out no Ken's from Alberta, not Saskatchewan. <laughs> Saskatchewan is Alberta. So JDN, he had me with you, brother. <laughs> had me a province over. So where are we going to talk decarboxylation and THC? Um, for me? Convert form to THC? Yeah. And decarb. Yeah, because what I was doing was wrong, and I didn't understand it. And I want to make sure you okay. guys understand. So I don't know if you guys caught this yet. Maybe not. Um, Ken telling me he's taking CBD. <laughs> Or yeah, if I grow it, it'll work. This this sound we use it right here. That's fifteen percent THC equals yeah. That's really nice about this because as we're talking about this, Ken's actually going to grow himself a chunk of CBD. Oh, I don't. I need my buster. My buddy Jay, you know some other people who like to be growing uh, some of this in the back of baseball. Yeah, this is the weasel man. This is the shit of these lines. I said, this is great. Right. Ken takes calves. What are you looking for? I was going for my buster. It's only half hour. No, uh, but it's full. Use another one. Okay, do you want me to tap it out on that one? No. That one? Okay, good. Oop. Yeah. Sure, okay, good. guys, I'm wrecking the place, okay? John's going to shoot me pretty soon here. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so let's get back to um, Ken. Sell me a set of screens and I'll follow you up. Well, you know what? You can definitely go to um, just go to fresheddies.com. Buy screens from Mark. You can actually even buy them on Amazon. They're like 100 bucks. I had a link, but I don't. I think they just hashtag me like crazy. All my videos attached to it. Because they, for one, I'm not going to sell a knockoff product. My friend sells them, and I don't want to support it. But if you only got a hundred bucks, you can buy the screen. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how long they're going to last. What they, they, you know, the quality is, but the quality screens that you I use every day are from FreshEddies.com. Um, you can go to a screen printing place. You can have these screens made. You're going to want to get a 60, a 90, a 110, a 200, and a 304. That's lines per square inch. So L P I not mesh sizes. We did that with Hyping. They brought me mesh. That's not that's wrong. It's gonna be for bubble bags. We look at 90, 120. Those are different sizes when it comes to lines per square inch for making dry sit. Just so you know. So I like the uh, first bounce, for fellow bounce, and now it comes up to 110 that lines on the 200. This is a very important part of it. And um, you know, from there you can actually then decarb and you can take that sift and you can do it several different ways. So when it comes to product, if you're going to make um, like an oil or and you want to make a butter, you can do this either in A from one. You can actually decarb the wheat by putting it into the butter or the oil into a deep fryer. Actually, you want to heat it and you bring it up to a certain temperature. And we'll talk about temperatures. It's in a video on how to decarboxylate. It's on my channel, which is John Perfello official on YouTube. That's in the description. And there will be a whole series on how to decarboxylate. And I show you four different methods from baking it in the oven, from doing it on a stove top, and then from doing it in a pressure cooker. Is that and in the many baking series? All many baking series. So look that so up. So I'm, I'm showing you all different types of ways in how to decarboxylate. This is what I learned back in 2006 from Dr. Paul Hornby. He is the guy who found how cannabis binded receptors. And then after that, we have Harper's side, which is Steve D'Angelo, 2007, 2008. Paul said he was a fly on the wall. It's kind of funny. Um, okay, hold, hold on, guys. I got to ask, uh, can you talk about it, please? Why? Because um, I wanted to poke down the end. Okay, John. You know, I'm a perfectionist. I would like to be able to stand my joint up here and have it just sit there. But the whole thing is the poke poke won't do that. It's good. No. Split when you have it like that, because all you're going to do is pull it up. Ken's not the best roller we know that. Yeah. Right, so, so I'm a living soil nerd, baby. <laughs> okay. I used to smoke a lot of cannabis when I was really young, like teens and early twenties. But yeah, um, John knows. Here's your half drive. Okay. <laughs> okay. I get the baby one. Good yeah, morning. Use a toker poker on that. It would have made a shit fun. Yeah. Why do you want to use your toker pokers, you guys, for your bongs? Uh, for 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 a lot of people doing these poppers. Okay, right. these are really known poppers. You put the weed, weed on top, a little bit of tobacco, and you hit the poppers, you don't want to talk about These are very, very popular amongst the young people out there. Oh, I missed 1020, so uh, happy 420 wherever you are in the it world. It says 1024. Good enough. Got a two, a four, and a zero. 420! 
See how that works. We can make 420 anywhere that we want, whenever we want, and celebrate, guys. Positive emotion, positive energy. Love this world, love this planet, love each other, love yourself. You're the one that has to make the decisions in your life. Okay, enough of that shit. Get high. Oh, okay. Just Why well, am I? High. I'm just saying. It's Monday morning. Oh, I love this guy. If you feel like you're in love right now, you're at work. You're listening to us. You're not at work. You're in pain. You're doing something. We're doing a bomb talk with you. I'm having some sip. He's smoking a joint. I've done a dab. Happy Monday, guys. Blessings, everybody. Oh, yeah. Lily's sitting in at home, running the back end, putting the comments up. And I love that woman. She is an angel. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to be home. I'm leaving tomorrow morning. I'll be home. <laughs> no, you can't leave tomorrow because I need some stuff. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll be staying home a bit. John doesn't want me to ever leave because I keep helping. <laughs> How convenient. Well, yeah. And he's getting used to the neighbors. They just show up. They just walk in the backyard. Yep. Yeah, he shows up. Mike shows up. You know what I mean? Oh, it's great. We're impeccable. Cheers. Oh. And oh, sounds amazing. Yes. And thank you guys for, for great comments. This is what the community is all about. Interaction with you guys in our day. Because this is our day. Okay. John did his juicy because that's what he does at that time. And we're just... We're alive. We're we're real. Huh? Bong rap. Poker, poker. Yeah, there you go. And if you guys haven't seen these things, I I've never seen one, and it's like, what the fuck is that thing? And I, well, um, John showed it to me, and it's like, wow. And he, I, I think these are going to be on your website pretty soon, right? Oh, they are. I don't oh, know there you go. Know. Oh, we'll see. Uh, as that explains it, I thought Ken was. Trolling and your mouth with his foot. Like, they're all over. Oh, yeah, they're yeah. My, I've had these websites for a decade. Um, so you can go to Poker, Poker Canada, go on to Amazon, of course. Just you know, look on. Saved all the turfs, though. Yeah, Good on. Save the turfs. Canamanda. We're Canamanda. I, I got all those sites. Yeah. Yeah. You can go to Boba in Canada, close to me. Well, yeah. So if you guys are looking for Boba to packs, you, you know. Go to Boba, you can go to Boba. And uh, I represent the company. Yep. Uh, it's because it's such a great product and I've worked so long. Save the turf. And the big thing for me is about the research. It's understanding how the terpenes are, are are evaporating, understanding the moisture content, understanding when you dry it, so smoke something at 50% humidity and how it affects your throat. I'm going to find out why. Yeah. We're going to test that. When the next crop is going to be grown, we're going to cure it with different humidity levels and then we're going to use those burns and burn those cannabinoids, burn that, that product. At 62%, at 55%, at 45%, at 35%. These humidity packs will be in the jars. This will be moisture tested. It will be AW tested, active water content inside the jar. It will be then tested on a machine, burned, rolled, and smoked through a machine through a column. And then we're going to take a look at it. Oh, it's man. Turn this ha, and you guys get to follow along. Best thing is about this is has everything to do with the companies and the people who are looking towards this and actually looking at what's really going on. And, and and what's really good about this is understanding the research, understanding the AW, understanding the terpenes, understanding the things. <laughs> Understand that water activity is everything coming down to standardizing those terpenes for the medical patients so we get the same efficacy over and over. I spent decades trying to standardize my medicine. It comes down to one thing saving the terps. That's why it's on a shirt. Um, like I saw a bag you have from Boveda. Um, do you, do you happen to have one of those close by? I watch bags. Um, the ones that Asia. Um, yeah, and Mum's Cup's coming up in August after the Unicorn Cup. Yeah, and uh, I'm doing 28th. Yeah, it'll be in yeah. OPC, uh, yeah, cannabis, uh, future projects, cannabis future. John got it right. Okay, thumbs up, everybody. Uh, Fiji water just got uh, snow melt, it's Canada bud. Nice, okay, cool. Oh, yeah, I'm repping Fiji here. Uh, this is been empty for days it's just being refilled from john's ro system every day <laughs> my whole house is our own yeah oh talk about a soft water for showering in it's beautiful oh, sort of know the turps no or no your turps yes chris 
or Chris Cookie. Yes, know your turps. That's why John has grown the same strain for what is it 18 years now? 18 years. He knows that plant so well. It's like I grew my sour diesel for two and a half. And you get, get to back know to the you. plant. What's that? It could back to the yeah. Yeah. So I was talking to a gentleman, Maurice, and he's been growing the same yeah. CBD strain, <laughs> which I know of for 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got to bring that back up. Okay. Bubble magic. Yeah, and the yellow snow adds extra nitrogen. <laughs> Are you writing your name, Bubble? Okay, you got to write your name, brother. Yeah, I think we made, um, we made Bubble Hash in the Chicken Moon River, and we actually had contaminants that were coming down the river because we were going to stop in the river. Yeah. We see contaminants on the new macro. And yeah. Was, um, and there were double plastic in there, so we found this and stuff like that. So it was amazing. I was contaminants during the snows. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm looking at back to January 2020, small amounts of cannabis will be legal in Illinois for personal use. Well, that's fantastic. Right on. Years ago. So, you know, we're certainly slowly legalizing around the world. So we're going to yeah. take it around the world and bring with us. Yes, the green way, and that's John's thing. The green way, it's the green way, it's yep. the green way of life. And I'll be saying it for thank you, John Ken, for holding the door open for us Canadian cannabis enthusiasts. We <laughs> may be slow to the punch, but we're watching, listening, and building. We come in slowly. We are, baby, we are a movement. We are growing. We're lighting more candles. Yeah, there's a lot of us that didn't even know there was a movement happening, like I didn't. I was just going on with my life, right? I was driving truck, but now, baby, I'm in it 199. Yes, well, watch one of our videos. I learned like, from this guy. Yeah. This guy's been doing this for a long time. <laughs> yes, it's kind of like your life; it lasts forever, and it's how you put into it. And what you want is what you get out of it. Yes, and understand that. So, like when I said, I want to see legalization. I want to see this plant being around the world, where I can have access to it. We're slowly seeing this. The stuff that we all want. You, me, others. People Legalize it. Legalization is is like I said on the news. The, the tree is falling. It's been cut down. And it's, it's, it's slowly. It's hitting the ground. It's bouncing a few times, and but it's it's. There's nothing you can yes. do about it. East Coast 90Z or 902 is here. Do you know Dale? Yeah. Oh, hey Dale. Hey man, bless his brother. He's awesome. He's got some great people. And the people that came down, I forgot his name. He's in the wheelchair. He's fucking awesome. You know, it's just like another story. So we all have the same story. We yeah. all have the same yeah. story. Your story is the same as mine. Yeah. Hey you know, Dale, I'm, would you mind if I come and visit you if, uh, when this gets going? Because I'm going yeah, back I'm and come forth come back. across Canada, man. I want to know what scope should I hang on. Can it turn into Bob Ross? Is Tim uh, Is that that painter? Because because London, he's come down the stairs. I'm sitting with some of his family. And he says, Bob Ross. And everybody turns and looks at me. It's like, okay, what what have I done wrong? Who's Bob Ross? Right? It's like, hey, cheers, Philly. Um, yeah, some painter dude. It's like, I guess I look like him or something. I don't know. And stigma can draw and hemp can become a mass produced product, massfully useful. Damn right, so here's the whole food. It's a food, it's a fiber, it's a fuel, and it's my medicine. Six basic human needs. Oh, yeah, nah, right now we're talking it's a fuel, it's a food. Come on over. It's a medicine. And that's what cannabis is. Yeah. It's all it, it, it suits all of us. Yeah. It, it, it can power cars, it can power your body, it gives you the problem. Oh, you know, three, six, and nines, which is you got more oils coming in the hemp seed than you do out of your fish oil. So I yeah. got three, six, and nines, just like yeah. seven, yeah. three percent. I did all the research on this back in the days and stuff. I yeah. probably pulled it out of the farm and kept talking oh, about decarboxylating. <laughs> Talk about why we were heating things at different times and temperatures. Yeah, yeah. We're seeing different times and temperatures for different activation points for different strains. Yeah, yeah. So I know we got a rough base point right now between yeah, 325 yeah. to 280, down to 320. Right. Uh, we've gone to 60. And, and like there's different times too, right? So you can go for an hour and a half, go for 20 minutes. We know things can be decarboxylated at 325. Yeah, hours. yeah. Well, you look at what you're doing on here. There's a hot dab and then there's cold dab. And the cold dab is totally different than a hot dab. Use your volcano. So we did preliminary experiments yeah. with a volcano. So Dr. Ormy experiment, you'll find out cannabinoid research and development. You can write this in preliminary experiments Ontario. with 
a volcano with Dr. Paul Hornby and myself. And, and we spent a long time looking at decarboxylating and how the canal movements were actually burning off. We also did how much TC was left in your roaches. And that was another $10,000 worth of testing. It was pretty cool. And we actually yeah. burned it down to look at the different ways of how the TC was decarbing, how much TC was left at the end of the joint. Um, it was like, you know, twice as much canal noise in the yeah. end of the joint. It was in the beginning. We saw that breakdown, which we all know. But understanding these methods and how things de do decarb yeah. and why. And then understanding we can decarb CBD to CBDA, but okay. you're not going to decarb your THC to CBD. And this is where Ken came down to. See, I thought he had some beautiful diesel. He was smoking and put it off because he got too hot. Uh, all that CBD, he's been just eating. Yeah. Over there. And uh, Ken came over. I figured, oh, you eat the CBD. That's pretty awesome. Here, how this 50 milligram you got it in there. <laughs> yeah, didn't really touch it with all that CBD being taken, right? Hey, so I understand CBD does block TC. Okay, can, can I ask you a question though? Okay, if I did it in the oven so that the molecules could actually vaporize, because I'm doing it in the jar, which is holding the man. simple. Okay, could, so could I do it just in CBD? You can go to CBD to TAC, but okay. I don't know the whole thing. So that's why I'm just in front of some. Okay. Um, Dale, hit me up on my website. Uh, just go to the contact form, send me uh, an email, and we will set this up, brother. I am coming. I got uh, invites to Nova Scotia to sit over and look at the ocean and smoke some wonderful weed. And yes, I am. I, I'm looking forward to this. It's going to be a fantastic time. Yes. Yes. Born Canada and its roots and talking with the growers and the people who want to get involved with this decade in this era. The passion. The passion of these people. I understand like, a lot of the yeah. people that we're talking about that we did a decade ago have passed. Yeah. And some of the greats in our industry are no longer here to lead us on. So I mean, we need some new blood, some new passion. Yes. The people who want to take this on, if you're in your, you know, you're in your 30s or your 20s, get a hold of me, man. I'm, I'm just willing to learn and teach and understand and help others that help me and help you help others and help. Oh, know, I've learned so much from the, I need, the I need, week I need, I've been there. Like, I mean, you know, Ken's being left in charge. Yes. John needs an apprentice. Anybody will need to apprentice to become a master grower because master he's grower. the master of the master. There's no such thing as a master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exist. He's good, though. Okay. Yeah, that's so all people who have, who have expertise and longevity of certain strains, of certain growing yes. patterns. Yes. They all run different patterns. I run a different pattern from the guy that grows down the street down in California, from the guy that grows in the and we all run different growing patterns. Yeah. We all have different techniques. We all have different sources of our nutrients. We all yeah. have different companies you around the CBN, world. ICD. It's not like these companies are in every okay. part. Does CBD and CBN isolate need to be decarbed? Well, the isolates are already decarbed. Okay, there you go. The isolates are already decarboxylated already. So, so no, you need it. it's really stay human. There you go, buddy. You gotta go to a hot temperature. Like when these things are decarbonized up. I'm thinking right now, guys. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, John might have to stretch this uh big little walk. So, yeah, guys. Um, so we got the Unicorn Cup coming up. Uh, that's down uh, by Selmo in the Kootenays. Uh, I'm gonna be there for that in London. Uh, then we got the Mums Cup a couple of weeks later. Um, in London, we're gonna be live streaming that. Uh, we're working out the logistics it's a three-day event and we actually may be able to uh share from beginning of the event right to the end of uh, each day of all the speakers and everything we're we're working on that to uh bring you a bunch more voices and listen to multiple voices the more you listen and grow and more you understand um and like that's why i listen to john's voice he's my expert in cannabis um or I consider him, he doesn't consider himself to be that, but I like, yeah, for me, it's all about respect and I respect this crazy guy. I respect him. I yeah. Respect guys. yeah, we were, it's all about caring, sharing and community. Right now, these crepes. Uh, Lily, I missed that. If you want to grab that back up. Uh, what in that? I don't speak emoji. What is it? Okay. Uh, grapes. Okay. It looks like. Uh, 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 cluster of grapes. Okay, because John's eating grapes and like he's got some growing outside. I mean, like, come on. <laughs> Talk about healthy when you have access. Like, I, I would love, 
I lived in the Okanagan for a while and the fresh fruits and vegetables that you could go down to the local farmer. You guys, you know, buy local, buy from Ontario, yeah. Um, buy from your local uh, food association, look at CSAs, try to get in touch with your farmer, grow relationships. Damn right, Mr. Davis. It's all that community that's gonna help us through this bullshit that's going on. Those are the connections, wine country. Oh man, 710, uh, I'm not coming to see you, man, because like I drank some ice wine a while back and shit, man, that stuff is wicked. That's like Newby Screech, okay? It's good though. You got ice wine? Um, John's probably gonna go ahead and grab a bottle of ice wine. <laughs> I mean, can you get, look at John's fridge, it's cannabis infused, regenerative agriculture. Yes. If anybody knows um, who this might have came from, um, <laughs> yeah. I recognize the name. This is from Breeder Steve. He owned Rollingdale Winery, <laughs> and this is some of his, um, I have some of his sweet tooth and some of his old ice wines and stuff like that. Wow. That were all cannabis, you know, related, but they weren't. But yeah, yeah. See, yeah, it is I do, I do THC. Have, I do yes, it does. Yeah, yeah. If you're here too, uh, they're saying uh, CBD they box THC. THC. Yes. So, yeah, Dr. Lynn Ingham. Yes, that beautiful woman. She's been fighting this battle a long time, guys, and we're taking it. We're going to pick up the torch, every single one of us that believes in living soil and biology. This is our fight, guys. Good subject, Jesus. Oh, man. Jesus, you got, I mean, you keep changing your name from here and here and there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know how many Jesus accounts Jesus has, but he's, he's a lot of people. Blaze the lilac cookies flower, great turf profile. Okay, right on. Yeah, there's so many flavors and aromas. And like, I like to use my nose. Like I, I've looked at, I haven't done a lot of dabs, but I've smelt pretty much every one that John has because that tells my body, yes, I like this or I don't. If I like it, then that's what I would want to consume because my body's telling me there's something in there that's going to help me. If it smells like shit. Oh, oh, Lily, put it back up, please. John was reading it. No, it's okay. Oh, no, it's saying, okay, whatever. Okay. Wow, once in a while, I just get really sharp pains, and it's probably related. It's just right around the whole side, so it's coming in. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, always we steady, falling short, and standing strong like a kind of community <laughs> hub. Among teacher and international can see. We've got to just, um, yeah, we got to find the, the right people and stick together. CBD weekly binds to CBRs, but is capable of, oh, antigen, I forget it, guys, the effects of THC, even uh, when the former is present in low doses by inhibiting the degeneration of endogenous cannabinoid ananabilium okay yeah see this is why i need my wife to have a microphone because she that? can read that hello cannabinoid system i i'm yeah i think so genetic yeah something I like think, that i think you probably said endogenetic without me even seeing it when you're trying to say it i just heard you sorry saying it like see he knows the language you know it's as simple as that i i, I like that man right there probably. yes yes they do a celebration of life for that man in September. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So how many of you guys caught London's wedding? CBD, peace, yes. Do not disrespect. CBD intensified the prolongs the, its effect. Okay. It's about bumping the, the um, cannabinoid off the receptors that exist um with the thc when you take the cbd it bumps those receptors if i'm right and i believe i am am i correct on that john can and the happiness thing holding regenerative agriculture movement back is political agribusiness trip oh yeah see we got what we got to do is we got to come in the back door we got to slip in from the side and get a voice in there at the very grassroots it's about 
meeting the people themselves. We can't advertise. We got restrictions, but I can go out and talk to people. John can go and talk to people. I do in the safe way. I used to do it in the parking lot. I said in the, in the, in the in just in the lineup. Yeah. I like, about voice. Sweet. You want to talk about we? And and you John, a conversation with someone in the lineup, and then everybody around you because you talk, I talk about. <laughs> right. So I make sure people can hear me. Yeah. Yeah. Because you got a lot to say, but John's the one that's standing in the front of the line, holding the sign, going, "Yeah, you, I am the man, and you're not taking this from me. Yeah, we I, all have to be that." Yeah, yeah, and it's all about saving those turps, though, right? I feel like I was at like the Rudy Don or something. Okay. Okay, guys, John's got some voodoo. So anybody out there that can send John some uh, positive energy, put a white light of protection around this, this man. This is how we, we get into pain. This is, this is me yeah. navigating to pain right now. So I love you all from uh, Kauai. Who, Don? That's Thank awesome. you, man. Yeah, we try to be positive. We try to love and give joy and happiness because that's how we live our lives. Like, you got positive people, bring positive energy. Live in that positive energy. Like John's dealing with some real, real pain right now. I can see it in his face. Um, so if you need to go lay down, brother, you go lay down. See, this is a man that does not give up. There's no retreat. There's no surrender. It's you move forward. And if we all move forward as a mass, and we all. No, you can you gotta consume. Go you got to consume it. You got to educate on. We talk a lot about what yeah. we're doing here and stuff like that, but. I mean, what it really comes down to is it's growing for oneself. Yeah. And and when you get into growing for yourself and understanding and what you're getting from it, mm -hmm. it's a great season. You just get some more peace of one time. Yes. Yeah. Canvas cultures for normalization of events. She's saying we need to get more uh, involved, cultures. more community, more events. Well, you know what? And more and yeah. legalization in Canada, we can actually start housing these events. So. You know, three happy cats. Um, they're going to be having yeah. more events that are going to be cannabis related. We're going to see more events throughout the industry, more legalization stuff like that. Well, yes, we're like just you can thirty grams. You can, you you can you can send thirty grams. You can yeah. give away weed. You can grow and give it away all day long. Yeah, JDN. Yeah, and yeah. the thing is, like the three happy cats, they've been around. She had to take a break. She's uh, five kids. Bless the young lady um she's taking a break and spent some time with those children growing up and now she's back and she's arranged this event in like you know it's almost like minutes from the first time i heard about it to bang she's got it happening hey canna um and she's a woman with passion and she loves this plant and she loves this community so three happy cats so don't forget to i think she's on facebook yeah yeah so check out three happy cats on facebook um, she was here. She gave some stuff away. Um, if, I think if you guys follow her, you could be on the stream and she could give you guys some stuff. So, uh, yeah, check her out. Um, I'm going to be doing a bee presentation uh, at the event, and I'm going to do a talk on biology at the event. So if you can possibly make it, I'd love to see you guys there. More just trying to say hi. Yeah. East Coast Farmer Market have been off you damn rights. Yeah, there's farmer markets everywhere. Um, I have a whole bunch in, in my area where I live in Alberta. And that's the, you go and you meet the farmer, you talk to the farmer, you know, become their friend. You know, if you know how to grow, you know, share that knowledge with them. It's about community. It's about everybody. It's like, and it's funny, a lot of these guys respect John for dealing podcasts as far as me. I appreciate you. Yeah. Uh, Jesus, what happens you're sometimes? Looking like you're peeking. Uh, Look like you're peeking out, man. Uh, it's not peeking out. It's pain out. It yeah. is pain. Yeah. So because of the injuries and stuff like that, I was having different pain waves or something like that. It's like comes out of nowhere and nowhere idea why. Yes. A lot to do with spinal cord injury. Oh, I know I have a, an SCI. And with that, you kind of. You got to navigate through pain. And that's what it's about. And that's why I love cannabis. That's why I love the community. And that's why I love growing plants. Because now I can go outside and a lot. 
you know, I here's the whole thing. So I'm thinking what I'm doing. I'm outside trimming. I'm like this. I'm cutting. I'm cutting. I'm cutting. I'm cutting. I'm running around. Running around. As I lift this arm, I'm getting a spasm. It's where the pain's coming from. Yeah. So you do this. So he knew what I was doing before I came in. I mean, frankly, getting plants ready because today is flip day. There's enough sun, uh, sun outside. Things are starting to go into flower outside. You have to uh -huh. start trimming your plants for your outdoor crops. Believe me, if you do not do this right about now, you're going to get bigger yields, everything. I've done enough of this in the past around my area. Pacific Northwest, get out there, trim up your plants, get them ready for the for, for August. Some hot heat's coming around the corner. I'm getting heat warnings right now. So yeah, I don't want that oil thing. Well, I get things ready. So what I'm doing, I'm bringing a few of the plants inside because I'm going to put them in the flower today. Yeah, our beds have been vegging in four inch beds and on living soils for seven days. So, another day or two, I'm going to flip them as yeah. a seven to nine day veg, bringing yeah. them other plants and just preparing for all of this for, of course, my medicine for the fall. Yeah, my wheat for the fall and for the for, for going into next year. And I, yeah. and as you can know, I'm, I'm just finishing off my last stuff right now. I, yeah, had a few drugs left, and that was nine months ago because I've been able to grow for the last nine months due to. The severities of my injuries from what yeah. just happened. Yeah. The car accident, stuff like that changed me again. So I changed the living yeah. skills, got out of post. I adapted. Yeah. But 20% of the problem, 80% of the solution. Yes. And the farmer is the most important person, and John being yes, that farmer. You're the most important person. You are the farmer. You are the grower of your life. You are the farmer of your life. Yes. For all farmers. Yeah. And the, whether you're growing a plant or you're growing your awareness and your love for yourself. You know, it's the same thing. It's all about growth and planting a plant, especially the cannabis plant, gives you that that interconnection to the world around you and to the biology that's around you. And in that, I, I don't know any cannabis grower that is is doesn't want to give that product away. They want to share. It's it's and then that sharing that passion for this plant is bringing us together globally and it's it's about our species you guys like it's not just oh, hey, you know what you know what's awesome my mom's growing plants so my mom um i went for a celebration of life and yeah. when i was in nova scotia i got some seeds from yeah yeah, yeah. i planted them. i was in mom's little uh little place there and she's got three lovely ladies growing around here right now my mom's growing some weed blessings to that too from nova scotia too yeah yeah Seeds, bread, and and then rolling bread out of love. Yeah, yeah. And of yeah. course, I got people wanting them every day, right? So, <laughs> Let's grow some weed this year because you all can grow four plants. Blessings to all those that have went before us. We will remember you forever, and we love you forever. Yes, we did a celebration of life for some close friends of ours at the Wee's Glass and Gifts little celebration of life party. Uh, that would have been for some dear friends of us, Greg Williams, yes. Randy Kane, Horatio Delbert, Jason Wilcox, uh, Paul Hornby, Tracy Crow, of course, where she's passed with some years ago. But then we, as we go through the things from Burt Eastwood and then there was Cara. These are just the seven of our close groups here in Vancouver in the last in the last year. Yeah. Along with my dearest mom, the pieces. And uh, yeah. you know, it's really been able to move forward and we have this beautiful family, which is the cannabis community. And when you move a loved one in the cannabis community, there's thousands of others, people to hold on to and to appreciate and respect the world that you were graced by the person previously to us to help us bring us yeah. to this. I know, I, I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm always after. Have you done this yet, John? We've got to get this done. I'm only here for so long. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's some smoke, yeah, yeah. And see, this is how John deals with his pain. He's consuming his medicine right now to put him back into that homeostasis where he's No, no, pain. no, he's getting high. <laughs> okay, but I'm <laughs> white off. So, I mean, cannabis helps us with um, forget. It helps us think. Yeah. It helps us unfocus. It helps us focus. So, when we say it's a medicine, the homeostasis, it helps balance yeah. our system. Yeah. And life's about balance. And yeah, yeah. Okay. Is he down there? Okay. Guys, this is Mr. Morpheus. Hi, Morpheus. That's John's cat. That's love, guys. Pure, pure love.
And Morpheus loves John, okay? There we go. Check out Living Soil Conversations uh, on the shoulders of giants. Yeah, you guys are giants. You guys are awesome. Yeah. And it's you guys that are the giants. We're just out here. We're able <laughs> well, to talk. Well, it's really talk. come down to, uh, and we're really going to look back at it in future generations. Um, that's why I like Canvas Nature yes. Products. The, 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 the future is in your hands. Yes. We're only here to help facilitate what you need and what we've learned over the last couple of decades of what I've learned through prohibition, learning kind of into legalization and understanding the movements, be able to keep those voices alive and keep growing forward in this industry. So yeah. it's the community based and it's about growth around the world. I've said it, I've been saying it for decades. I'll keep saying it and I'll, I'll say it once it's all said and done. And I'll keep saying it more. We're going to Mars, baby. Ah, right on, Elon. We're coming for you, brother. I uh, Bob. Um, yes. Um, just go with the, if you, especially in small pots. Just go with a, a super soil, like a goose mix. What's the, what's going on? I'm um, going organic. Still yeah. Learning. Should I start with a mega soil? You know what? Really easy. I don't know where you are. That guy green soil. Follow me. Go buy it. It's yeah. easy. You know yeah. why? Because it's something I'm using. I'm not going to re recommend anything else that I don't know. But yes. I can tell you, I can recommend this product. Right, you can buy this right across Canada, and I know you can. It's going to be pretty easy. Or you can make your own. There's going to be other yeah. products. But, I mean, I mix soils like this in the past. I'm seeing the growth right now. Follow along, see how the flowering goes in. Are we going to mend to it? I'm going to use an organic tea. I'm using the biology. I'm also yeah. using some microbes. Um, and we're going to go from there. We're going to see it. And then we're going to pull the microscope and we're going to take a better look at that and see what's going yeah, on in yeah. the soils. Right, Morpheus? And uh, yeah, if, if you can and you have the availability of size, check out uh, Shangalosa's video with Leighton Morrison on horizontal soil. Then if you, you do that right, soils, you can totally you know, got a big grow. Yeah. Make your own. Well, go, go get your pea muscle, go, 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 go get your blood meal, go get your go get all of these products. I done okay, yeah. Past. Right on, Bubble. Yep. Definitely. Um, omega three, vitamin C, and turmeric. Good natural yeah, anti-inflammatory. I take three thousand milligrams of vitamin C every day. I take yeah. omega three, six, and nines, and oils, of course. Yeah. I'm um, take your uh, D three, take K two. Um, for all you guys over fifty, NDM plus. It's a cell regeneration. It helps regenerate the cells that you will no longer generate anymore. It gives you make you feeling younger and give you long longevity of life. Um, key key nutrients. Call them peptides. These are all the great to put in your smoothies. Go green. Celery juice just started it. I'm happy I started it. I'm talking like a week ago. I should have started yeah. it 10 years ago. Um, but, I mean, it's a good thing to get into and look at your microgreens. Look at feeding your own biology. Yeah. Your well, own yeah. nutrients yeah. for yourself. Look at that that, that, that uh, medical medium there that I'm looking at. I'm yeah. really yeah. involved through my Tony Robbins courses on like mastery and health and wealth. And wealth comes to health. And that's what I'm going to be yes. looking at. As you can see, it's all about health. Yeah. It's all about wealth because once you get to that prop health wealth in yourself, well then you can really start making some true wealth. Well, yeah, wealth within yourself. Yeah, wealth with your growth, wealth with the people around you, wealth with how you feel and grow. And then there's money. There's a different type of wealth, and that's going to yeah. give you things that you think that you need. But in reality, once you get the wealth that you truly have with inside, the money thing is yeah. really a big deal because it's already there. It's it soon just it just piles on. I think, oh, you have this all of a sudden. Yeah. So work yeah. on yourself. Work well, harder on yourself than you do on your job. Work harder on your growth than you do on yourself. Honestly, read every day. Read about life. Read about growth. I read cannabis books. I've read a lot of them. I'm back into reading a lot of other books on self yeah. uh, self help. Yeah. Which is helping yourself. Which is looking at your. They can grow there. rich. If you haven't read it, read it. Yeah, Napoleon Hill. It's all right. I can go through a whole list. Message me, please. I can give you a whole list of books that we're reading. Um, Kitty Madness by John C. Maxwell. I wrote that. I read that after my mom passed away. And, and if you still have loving people yeah, that are in your life, do yourself a favor. Today Matters by John C. Maxwell. Because you matter. Yes. And today matters. For every step in your life and everything that you do, it matters to where you go, how you grow, and who you're growing with. Stay in a higher peer group, guys. Stay with those people you really want to be with, the ones that empower you, the ones that get you growing every day. And when you get to that next level, go a little bit higher because you don't want to stay at that level. You always want to keep moving forward. You yes. see that with me over time on my videos. Yeah. I keep doing one of these. Join me on the journey of life together. We can only grow higher and more. And for the future, 
to the future yes. of mankind, for the future of this planet, for the future of you, for the future mm -hmm. of the ones that you love. Your so children. What we do, we're growing here yes. together as one because we, as a community, are going to take this to this next level of growth. Yes. Can't wait to see you at these next events, guys. Okay, guys, look forward to it. We love you all, and uh, we're at the hour mark. And uh, I want to say thank you. Um, check out the Living Soil Conversations. We've got London tomorrow nice. uh, with Cannabis for Breakfast and the Dank Hour. And London's coming to the Cup um, in Hope as well. He's going to be doing the camera end of it. So don't miss out on that. Um, of course, Wednesday is Brian and Marco's show. Thursday, Brian and Layton's show. And I get to do the be a background producing again, which I love you I guys. Nice guy putting in all the hard work. Hey, it's just, I'm adding my voice. And you guys need to add your voice. Get out there, talk to people. Talk to the people in the grocery line like John did at the gas station. Get your voices out Good there. Job, we love you guys. And I'm going to end the broadcast. Lily, I love you, baby. I'm going to be home soon. Okay.